Ever wondered what it would be like to face a horde of infected villagers? Picture this. Leon S. Kennedy, once a Raccoon City police officer, now a US government agent, is sent on a perilous mission. His task? To rescue Ashley Graham, the president's daughter, who has been kidnapped by a mysterious cult known as Los Illuminados, hidden deep within a rural European village. As Leon steps foot in the village, he's met with more than just a cold welcome. These aren't your everyday villagers. They are infected with a parasitic organism called Las Plagas, turning them aggressive and violent. Any hope of a peaceful negotiation is quickly dashed as they attack Leon on sight. As Leon delves deeper into the village, he uncovers the dark truth about the cult's involvement and the terrifying nature of Las Plagas. Little did Leon know, his mission was just beginning. Every great game has a great antagonist. In Resident Evil 4, that antagonist is Osman Sadler, the charismatic and manipulative leader of the cult Los Illuminados. Sadler is not just a figurehead, he's the puppet master controlling his followers with the parasitic Las Plagas. His sinister plan? To infect Ashley, the president's daughter, with a Plagas parasite. But not for some petty ransom, oh no. Sadler's ambitions are far grander. He intends to use Ashley as a carrier to spread the parasite across the United States with the goal of seizing control of the country. Sadler's plan, his willingness to sacrifice his followers and his absolute belief in his cause make him a formidable foe. And when Leon learns of this plot, the mission shifts. It's no longer just about saving the president's daughter, it's about stopping Sadler and preventing a potential epidemic. With Ashley captured and a parasite inside him, Leon's mission had become personal. In the shadows, a mysterious figure lurks. Enter Ada Wong, a woman as enigmatic as she is dangerous. Her first encounter with Leon is shrouded in mystery as she aids him, yet remains aloof. Her true intentions hidden behind a veil of secrecy. Ada's interactions with Leon are a dance of intrigue and deception, a delicate balancing act of ally and antagonist. Her finesse and cunning are evident in every move she makes. Whether she's helping Leon navigate through the infected village or providing critical information about the cult and the Las Plagas parasite, Ada's presence is always felt. Yet, she remains an enigma, a puzzle that Leon, and indeed we, can't quite solve. Her undisclosed motives further complicate the narrative. Is she friend or foe? Is she driven by personal gain or a higher cause? These questions hang in the air, creating a tantalizing mystery that serves to deepen the intrigue of Resident Evil 4. Ada's enigmatic presence added another layer of complexity to Leon's mission. In the face of unspeakable horror, Leon pressed on. With every corner turned and every door opened, the grim reality of his mission became more apparent. The village, once a quiet sanctuary tucked away in rural Europe, was now a breeding ground for the grotesque and monstrous. The once peaceful inhabitants were transformed into violent puppets, their minds and bodies under the control of the sinister Las Plagas parasite. Every step Leon took was a battle, a struggle for survival against the relentless onslaught of Los Illuminados' infected followers. As the sun set and the moon cast long, menacing shadows, the village took on an even more ominous presence. The silence was shattered by the growls and snarls of the infected, their glowing eyes piercing through the darkness. Through the village and into the looming castle, Leon faced an array of formidable foes. Some were villagers, their bodies twisted and deformed by the parasite. Others were the cult's loyal soldiers, armed and ready to kill. And then there were the creatures, the horrifying result of Las Plagas' power to mutate and control its host. Yet with every enemy felled and every obstacle overcome, Leon gathered vital clues about the disturbing plans of Los Illuminados. Their goal was far more terrifying than he could have ever imagined. The cult intended to use Ashley, the president's daughter, as a vessel to spread the Las Plagas parasite across the United States. The stakes were higher than ever and failure was simply not an option. As the magnitude of his mission sank in, Leon's resolve hardened. He knew the odds were against him, but he was not about to back down. He was a seasoned warrior, a US government agent trained to face the worst. His mission was clear, rescue Ashley and stop Los Illuminados at all costs. With each step, Leon was getting closer to Ashley and to the horrifying truth. Every battle won, every enemy defeated brought him one step closer to his goal. The journey was far from over and the worst was yet to come. 
But Leon S. Kennedy was ready. Ready to face whatever horrors awaited him in the shadows. The castle walls held dark secrets and deadly foes. As Leon advanced deeper into the fortress, the eerie echoes of the past whispered tales of the Las Plagas parasite and the cult's sinister plans. The castle, a stronghold of Los Illuminados, was haunted by the menacing presence of Ramon Salazar, one of Sadler's loyal henchmen. The confrontation with Salazar was inevitable. Leon, resilient as ever, faced off against this puppet of Sadler, learning more about the cult's nefarious intentions and the ominous history of Las Plagas. Each step taken within the castle's cold stone walls brought him closer to the truth, yet further into the web of danger spun by the cult. Meanwhile, Ada Wong, the enigma wrapped in a riddle, continued her dance in the shadows. Her occasional assistance to Leon, coupled with her elusive motives, added another layer of mystery to the unfolding drama. The castle was just a prelude to the true terror that awaited Leon. The real battle was still to come, and Leon was about to face it head on. Every story has a climax, and this was Leon's. The island's grim facade housed the nerve center of Sadler's operation. This was where the final chapters of Leon's mission would unfold. The island facility, a stark contrast to the rustic village and decadent castle, was a testament to the technological prowess of Los Illuminados. Here, Leon and Ashley encountered the true face of the cult's plan, a world infected by Las Plagas. Their journey through the facility was fraught with danger. Each corner held a new challenge, a new adversary, but Leon was undeterred. His resolve was as firm as ever, his mission clear in his mind, rescue Ashley and defeat Sadler. Ashley was once again in the clutches of the cult, her life hanging by a thread, but Leon, our stalwart hero, was not one to back down. He faced the monstrous foes that stood in his path with unwavering determination. Sadler, the puppet master, finally revealed himself in all his grotesque glory. The final confrontation was at hand. This was not just a battle between Leon and Sadler, but a clash of ideologies. On one side, a man determined to save a life, and on the other, a man hell-bent on spreading chaos. The battle was fierce, a dance of death under the island's eerie glow. Leon, armed with a specialized weapon, faced off against Sadler's monstrous form. It was a test of wills, a test of courage, and ultimately, a test of humanity. In the end, it was Leon who emerged victorious. With a final resounding blow, Sadler was defeated. The parasitic nightmare that had held the village in its grip was finally over. Ashley was safe and the threat of Las Plagas was seemingly eradicated. With Sadler defeated, Leon had completed his mission, or so it seemed. The echoes of this adventure would continue to resonate, setting the stage for the next chapter in the epic saga that is Resident Evil. In the world of Resident Evil, victory often comes with a twist. As the dust settles on the island, the true intentions of the enigmatic Ada Wong come to light. Ada, who had been an intermittent ally throughout Leon's harrowing journey, reveals her ultimate betrayal. It turns out she had been working for a third party all along, her eyes set on a prize more valuable than any friendship or alliance, a sample of the Las Plagas parasite. With a swift and unexpected move, Ada seizes a sample of the parasite and makes her escape, leaving Leon and Ashley to pick up the pieces. The revelation leaves a bitter taste. It's a stark reminder of the treacherous world they inhabit, where trust is a luxury and survival takes precedence over alliances. Their ordeal, however, is far from over. They still need to escape the island and report back to the US government about their encounter with Los Illuminados and the threat of Las Plagas. With the last of their strength, Leon and Ashley managed to navigate their way off the island, leaving behind the haunting memories of the horrors they faced. As they breathe a sigh of relief, the weight of Ada's betrayal still hangs heavy. Her actions have far-reaching implications that extend beyond the confines of this mission. With a sample of Las Plagas in her possession, the potential for another outbreak looms ominously over the horizon. The threat is far from eliminated, merely dormant, waiting for the right moment to unleash its terror. This twist of events sets the stage for future games in the Resident Evil series. Ada's actions, her betrayal, and the unresolved threat of Las Plagas all contribute to the intricate web of plots that unravels in the subsequent installments. It's a world where the line between friend and foe is blurred, where survival is a constant battle, and where victory often comes with a twist. While Leon and Ashley escaped, the story was far from over. Resident Evil 4 was more than just a game. 
It was a thrilling journey that saw Leon S. Kennedy, a US government agent, battling against a parasitic nightmare in a rural European village. With its intense gameplay and atmospheric setting, it wasn't just a game, it was an experience that redefined the survival horror genre. Each step, each encounter, each battle was a testament to the game's innovative design and captivating storytelling. The game introduced us to unforgettable characters and a sinister plot that kept us on the edge of our seats. But Resident Evil 4's legacy goes beyond its plot, characters, and setting. It challenged the norms of the survival horror genre, introducing action elements that would become staples in future installments. Its success resonated across the industry, influencing a new generation of games and gamers. And that, folks, is the riveting tale of Resident Evil 4, a game that redefined survival horror and left an indelible mark on the industry.